Hello and welcome everyone to another painting video tutorial from Vital Creatives. My name is Ruben Martinez and I'll show you how we painted the miniatures from the Kickstarter from Cool Mini or Not and Speed Master Games. This project is called Marvel United and these miniatures have a chill style and many of you ask to us about how we did this paint job onto these miniatures so I'll show you how we do that remember if you like this content please like and subscribe this video in the YouTube channel of Vital Creatives in order to support us and make more content for you like this. So, let's start. Okay guys, so as you could see this is my results after my first painting session on John Doe. So, as you could see, I applied some light and some shadows to every element onto this miniature in order to reach to this sweet point onto the miniature, okay? But I want to comment the, the, the importance uh, of painting every part in order to, to avoid every uh, uh, part with a priming coat, okay? And this will make a real sense of the state of the miniature, okay? So, as you will see, only one part left to paint. Guess what? Don't worry, I will tell you. Is the the border of the base, okay? This is something easy to paint because I will paint in black. But making this easy step you could achieve a more finished result onto the miniature, okay? So, I prefer to make this not at the final stage of the painting process. I prefer to make it now, in order to continue with the miniature. I will paint this wire tone onto the base and you will see how it changes the overall results onto this miniature. Okay done is amazing because now the miniature is like pretty things but of course you do need to paint the eyes <coughs> some details uh, but maybe for you is a um, good point to to finish the miniature and ready to play with that, okay? But in, in this video tutorial I want to, to go further and show you some, ti some tips and tricks to get this miniature to the next level uh, and achieve something like this, okay? We will explain about the trim light, the blue trim light, 
and defining the miniature to reach this level okay so stay tuned and let's go with the next step of the process <coughs> okay um, as I mentioned before I'll make some light and some shadows all over every part of the miniature I don't paint the little details like the eye because in this step I will paint over some parts so I don't want to to cover uh, details okay this is for the last steps <clears throat> and uh, in this step I will use the eyebrows okay in, in the previous step you you saw how I smooth the transitions making some wet blending making some glazes but if you want uh, more uh, a smoother a smoothering onto your gradients I recommend you or spend more time glazing okay is is pretty accurate and and it's so far, uh, <laughs> to be honest, uh, but uh, with the eyebrows you could um, earn some time in the process, okay? And uh, this finish is pretty different. It's more smooth. It's more more cold, okay? Um, it's a matter of, of taste. So um, for. This technique I like to call it a uh, eye blend. You could use your eyebrows, okay? And I will use some diulent in my paint to make the mix, okay? It's not needed. You could use uh, just water, okay? But using the diulent, you avoid uh, obstruct the, the eyebrows, okay? So you could mix some diluent with water and now I will start making some smoothering onto the, the, the cloak okay so I will choose a middle tone the, the mixes are pretty the same that I used before for this part okay so I will use this reddish brown. I will use some magenta. Okay. And I will use some violet to darken a little bit the, the mix. Okay. And I will make the mix into my arras directly, okay? Because I know the previous mix that I did before is something easy for me. And of course, as you saw in the previous steps, you will make correction on the spot. Okay, I have some kind of reddish brown and now I will add some violet to achieve this nice color okay maybe two reddish so I'll need to desaturate a little bit this mix so as you probably know, uh, light colors desaturate the mixes. Okay, so it's okay. I will use this creamy color in order to desaturate a little bit this mix. Okay. Okay, 
So the dilution for the eyebrows is pretty the same like for glasses, glazes. And I will check onto my paper like this. Okay, I see maybe two redis, so I need to desaturate a little bit more. I will add a total of green, white green. Oh, let me let me use this color that I use for the skin already, and with this color I will obtain more color ambience because I'm adding to this mix a color that I use in other parts okay only a little touch of this color it will be needed it's a light color has some blue so it will be desaturate a little bit my mix as well okay I think is is night nice so let's let's check the dilution here. Okay, is pretty transparent, but if I insist too much, I'll start to cover. So this is a pretty good point for this technique. So let's start with the air blending in this way. Okay. You will see it's very quick to blend color together. Okay. In this part, I will blend a little bit as well. And in these parts, I'm taking care to try to not paint onto adjacent areas. Okay, so with the eyebrows, the, the precision is so high because this is a 02 millimeters uh, needle, so it's difficult to paint onto the adjacent areas. Okay. Okay, and for me, it's done. I have my gradients smoother. So I'll jump onto the next part. Okay, I'll make the same for the jacket. Okay, this color is more, uh, more near to the purple one. So I'll change my mix okay I'll add again water and some diolent and now sorry I will add some magenta nice and some violet, okay. Perfect color, I think. And again, I'll take the dilution. I think it's perfect, again. So, let's move on to the miniature, okay. Okay, is now smoother, so I continue 
with the other part it's important to aim where the transition needs to be smoother but if you paint around this area this don't worry is just about a part of the process in this way okay perfect done you'll see now the gradients are smoother of course later we will retouch <clears throat> some light because with the eyebrows you, you lose some contrast and some definition so you need to recover these things okay and now I will make some smooth ring onto the skin and so on you could make this into the different parts that you consider is needed okay again a little bit of water some diluent I must insist uh, you could use just water and now I will add some blue this color that I used for the skin previously and I need blue this one darker blue and I will add to my mix ok perfect so I have my mix for smooth room the skin I'll try in the paper okay the dilution is it's okay you need to correct dilution you could add or more paint or more water that you need Okay, making slightly touches, remember. Go subtle with these kind of things, especially in parts like the face. Okay. And why not a little bit onto the fingers? And this is all about the air blend technique is as easy as that, that you could see I must insist that if you don't have eyebrows you could make with glazes are very useful as well 
Okay, so I need to prepare the 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 areas for the for the ring light, the blue ring light over the the right side of the character. So for this, I will add more blue to my mix in this way. And now I have a deeper blue in my eyebrows. And with this color, I will start to paint onto the areas of the of, of the rim light. Okay. So this is something like a preparation for this effect. Okay. Again, you could use your brush. I paint a little bit in the in the base to keep some coherence with the lining. And these parts are starting to turn in blue. Something subtle, okay? You need several coats in order to see the blue flow because the illusion of the paint again I must to remember that is something like glazes are very diluted. And it's important to apply this color from this direction. Is the direction from this lower part of the miniature that the blue light will come. Okay? So you could apply a little bit here as well. Because it's a lower part on, of the miniature. And for me, it's enough. Okay? So... To clean your eyebrows, this, mm, after some work, just pour some water onto the eyebrows and now some alcohol I think is cold in order to remove the paint onto the, the needle okay and it's done. Ready for more applications. Okay. So 
this is for what it is the the air blend technique and now I continue making some definition in the miniature in order to finish this this bad guy 